Right, the year threes and fours, I've been looking at the three times table this week. And I came across this thing years ago that I'm going to see and share with you. Right, so we start off with some concentric circles on your page. Right, let's see how good I am at drawing concentric circles. Here we go. Now, it doesn't really matter how many you draw for now. So there's a few, and because we're doing a three times table, I'm going to split this into three sections like this. One, two, three. And I'm going to start off in this box here. I'm going to start with zero, and then we're going to go one, two, and then three is going to go out here, and then four, five, where's six going to go? Up there, six, seven, eight, you might have worked it out by now, ten, eleven, and then I've run out of circles this one, but twelve would go there, but it's up to you. Now, what do you notice, starting off, what do you notice about this section here? What pattern can you notice? And that's what it's all about, really. It's about using these and spotting some patterns. Um, what do you notice if you say, for example, multiply a number from this section with a number from this section? Where's the answer? Where's the answer going to turn out with? Um, what if you multiply one from this one, this one, this section? Where does the answer go? Um, how about if you add different numbers from different sections? Where is the answer? What if you add numbers all from this section? Where is the answer? Now, have a think. Have a play with it and see if you can spot any patterns. Um, and all, when you've done a three times table, what you can also do very easily is see if those patterns are the same when you move on to things like the four times table. So if you were to just do it like this and you do it exactly the same way. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. One, two, three, and then four would be, yep, yeah, four, five, Six, seven, nine. So you can continue this and see if the same sorts of patterns emerge or if there's different things. And again, you can split it into any number of different times tables. This one, I might just double this from four to eight, although you might have to be better with your artistic skills to fit in things that have failed there miserably. Um, let that be a lesson to you. So see how many patterns you can find, starting off with the three times table. And again, share them with your class teacher via Class Dojo or Google Classroom. Have fun.